Get ready for the dictation. Start. Sir, the logic of bringing forward the repealing and amending bill is very very appropriate and valid. Essentially over time various laws become obsolete and they need to be removed from the statute books. While I commend the government for its effort at looking into a variety of bills that have no more relevance today and actually coming up with a bill that will remove or amend 104 legislations through these two bills basically there are many instances where this government has not paid attention to views of other important bodies such as the supreme court the law commission the national commission on women etc in the course of my speech right now i am going to give the government certain suggestions that have been made by other bodies which the government needs to incorporate in its repealing and amending bill and for which purpose i am also moving some amendments sir the very first one that i want to bring to your attention is section 377 of the indian penal code sir you may recall that in a delhi high court judgment the high court ruled that a part of section 377 that criminalizes consensual sexual activity is unconstitutional any action which involves consensual sexual activities there is no logic for that to be criminalized because it is between the two consenting individuals sir this is further strengthened by the right to privacy judgment where the court argued that the right to privacy is a fundamental right and sexual orientation is an essential part and component of identity and equal protection demands protection of the identity of every individual without discrimination so there is no more role for section 377 and that should have been here i am moving an amendment to get the government include that as one of the obsolete provisions of the ipc that needs to be removed sir this is also supported by the national human rights commission which have actually suggested to the government numerous amendments to decriminalize consensual activities sir the second provision again for which i am moving an amendment which the government should have included in the repealing and amending bill is the anti sedition law that is section 124a of the indian penal code sir this is a law which has a long history but let me remind you of the people who have spoken about this this was the law which the british used to target mahatma gandhi and you know what mahatma gandhi said when he was so targeted he said that section 124a under which i am happily charged is perhaps the prince among the political sections of the ipc designed to suppress the liberty of the citizen sir such a law has no place in this modern society but everywhere you see that this law is being easily invoked to target students to target protesters against nuclear plants to target anyone and everyone by various governments i am not making it a party thing i am pointing that out sir basically in the parliament itself the prime minister jawaharlal nehru in 1951 said that so far as 
he is concerned section 124a is highly objectionable and obnoxious and it should have no place both for practical and historical reasons if you like in any body of laws that we might pass the sooner we get rid of it the better that was in 1951 we are in 2017 and that law is still on the statute books the law minister needs to take account of this fact and accept the amendment to get rid of this particular aspect sir anti sedition is actually dealt with by other sections of the ipc there is no need to have this kind of a vague law which is misused time and again and in any case if you look at the sreya singhal case the supreme court had ruled that vague penal laws are arbitrary and that is ultra wires to the constitution this is a perfect example of that and should be removed sir there is one more thing that i want to offer this government as an amendment to this particular bill and this is the anti adultery law sir section 497 of the ipc again criminalizes a man for engaging in adultery with a married woman sir what i am saying is that adultery if it is consensual essentially involves a voluntary action on the part of a man and a woman you cannot in this day and age treat a woman as some person without the capability to make decisions about her sexual activity and argue that one um, only a man should be penalized under this particular law there is a need to get rid of the law altogether to make sure that you have gender equality that has also been the recommendation of the law commission of india which the government has not paid attention to stop